welcome students to another lecture in the series here uh, we are about to study some important concepts uh, on budgetary control the first concept is zbb that is zero base budgeting uh, it is a recent development in the area of management control system and is steadily gaining importance in the business world uh, before preparing any budget a base is determined from which the budget process starts and quite often uh, current year's budget is taken as the base uh, or the starting point for preparing the next year's budget okay the figures in the base are changed as per the plan for the next year and this approach of preparing budget is only called as incremental budgeting okay since the budget process is concerned mainly with the increase and the changes in operations that are likely to occur during the budget period like if i take an example here the sales of the current year's budget may be taken as the base and the next year's budget for sales will be current year's sales plus an allowance for uh, price increase and expected changes in the sales volume the main drawback of this approach is that it perpetuates the past inefficiencies okay uh, this is an alternative to incremental budgeting ZBB was introduced at uh, Texas Instruments in USA in 1969 by Peter Fire and who is also known as the father of ZBB. It is not based on incremental approach and previous year's figures are not taken as the base for preparing the next year's budget. In place of that, the budget figures are developed with zero as the base, which means that the budget will be prepared as if it is being prepared uh, for a new company for the first time. So every time we, uh, we treat it like that. We do not take the past records as uh, um, the base for the next year's performance. According to Peter, ZBB is defined as a planning and budgeting process which uh, requires each manager to justify his entire budget request in detail from scratch, hence zero base. Every manager states that why he should spend any money at all. This approach requires that all the activities uh, be identified as design packages and which will be evaluated by systematic analysis ranked in order of importance. If I see uh, according to CIMA, they have also explained and evaluated this concept. ZBB is defined as a method of budgeting whereby all the activities are re-evaluated every time a budget is set. So discrete levels of each activity are valued and a combination chosen to match funds available. So in simple words, if I uh, conclude that what ZBB is, it is a system whereby each budget item, regardless of whether it is new or existing, it must be justified in its entirety. And each time a new budget is prepared, it is a formalized system um, for activities of an enterprise. And if each activity uh, is being performed for the first time from zero base every time. The novel part of the ZBB uh, is actually the requirement that the budgeting process starts with zero with all the expenditures to completely be justified. Okay, So this contrasts with the usual approach in which uh, we take certain level of expenditures are allowed at a st uh, as a starting point and then budgeting process focuses on the requests for incremental expenditures. The main features here we have is ZBB, zero waste budgeting. First, all budget items. Uh, both old and newly proposed are considered totally a fresh amount to be spent on each budget item is to be totally justified uh, a detailed cost benefit analysis of each budget program is undertaken and each program has to compete from scarce resources uh, departmental objectives are linked to corporate goals the main stress is not on how much uh, here the stress is on why why we do need to spend each and every single penny is spent with this why managers at all levels participate in this process and they have their corresponding accountabilities and it is a very um, widely used concept in today's time in fact when jimmy carter became the president of usa he directed that all the federal governments um, government agencies should adopt this zbb so on a review of literature on the use of zbb it is found that in many organizations zbb has led to a considerable improvement in budget process at the same time in many organizations it has not proved successful so it's not like that that every time it is successful let us see certain advantages that we have out of it in zbv all the activities included in the budget are justified on cost benefit considerations which promote more effective uh, allocation of resources 
it discards the attitude of accepting the current position in favor of an attitude of questioning and challenging each item of uh, budget is there in course of zbv process inefficient and loss making operations are easily identified and they can be easily removed so costs are saved it adds psychological push to employees to avoid wasteful expenditures it is an educational process and can promote a management team of talented and skillful people who tend to promptly respond to changes in the business environment cost behavioral patterns are more closely examined deliberately inflated budget requests get automatically weeded out in this process so it's uh, simple if, if there is any uh, inflated situation it is removed along with the advantages it has certain disadvantages also let us study many times a short note is being asked in exam on this topic so be careful uh, regarding its preparation despite being a useful technique it has certain disadvantages let us see few it leads to an enormous increase of paperwork and results in high cost of preparing budgets every year every time you start from scratch managers may resist new ideas and changes they, they feel threatened by that bb because all expenditures are questioned every time and every expenditure sorry needs to be justified and there is a danger of emphasizing short term gains at the expense of long term benefits uh, it has a tendency to regard any activity not foreseen and sanctioned in the most recent uh, zvdr illegitimate and for introduction of this kind of concept the managers need to be given proper training and education regarding this new concept so its pros and cons and implementation uh, both are taken into consideration it may not always be easy to properly rank decision packages and this may give rise to conflicts even in an organization okay now let next we have performance budgeting to study out uh, it is also a recent development uh, it tries to overcome the limitations of the traditional budgeting in traditional budgeting uh, as used in business enterprises and government departments the main defect is that the control of performance in terms of physical units and related costs is actually not achieved this is because of this uh, in uh, this, this, is, this is because in such budgeting many concepts uh, like is not given more importance so performance budgeting is relatively a new concept which focuses more on the functions programs and the activities in other words in case of traditional budgeting both input and output are mostly measured in monetary unit while performance budgeting lays emphasis on achievement of physical targets performance budgets are established in such a manner that each item of expenditure related to a specific responsibility center is closely linked with the performance of that center uh, thus performance budgeting lays a lot of stress on activities and programs it helps to answer the questions like what is to be achieved how is to be achieved and when is to be achieved so government of india has now even decided to introduce uh, performance budgeting in all its departments in a phased manner an example of performance budgeting uh, in government system of accounting may be that generally expenditure is classified under the heads like pay and allowances transport repairs and maintenance etc in performance budgeting the classification of expenditure may be setting up uh, of a steel mill uh, construction of a railway uh, station computerization of a railway booking system purchase of an aircraft carrier and other physical targets when work on these activities is started funds are being obtained against these physical targets reports are then uh, prepared for any underspending and overspending which are then analyzed for corrective actions if there are any so performance budgeting is sometimes even called as program budgeting or planning and program and budget system it is sometimes called like that steps we, have, we do have five steps in this let us study the steps uh, what steps are involved in it establishment of responsibility center is the first step uh, a responsibility center you know is a segment of an organization where an individual manager is held responsible for the performance of the segment he solely himself is responsible for all the activities happening in the particular department then we establish performance targets each responsibility target as uh, at center uh, targets are set in uh, terms of physical performance that it needs to be achieved the best example would be from sales like which is the responsibility center in itself uh, so targets may be set in terms of number of units to be sold during the budget in that budget period uh, for production same ways we can target to produce a particular number of units then we estimate the financial requirements uh, in this step basically the financial support which is needed to achieve the physical targets is calculated in uh, other words you can say the amount of expenditure which is involved under the various heads to meet the physical performance is forecasted in this step the last two steps comparison of actual with budgeted profit uh, performance you know controlling this is quite easy and then at last step you report and take action
according to the uh, budgeted performance and the variances obtained from it. Okay. So I am ending this lecture at this point only. If you have any queries related to these two topics, you may raise queries in the right stream. Thank you.